to Royal News now. Kate Middleton has delighted crowds at Wimbledon, sitting in normal seats to watch day two. So it's great to see. Lovely to have the Duchess of Cambridge with us today on Court 14, the patron of the All England Club. In Wimbledon, white too. Uh, for more now, we're joined by our Palace Insider, Neil Sean, live from London. Neil, you were there today, so it was a lovely move for the Duchess to sort of sit there instead of sitting in the royal box. Well, morning, David. Morning, Brooke. Yes, now, yeah, if I look a bit brown, as we were just saying off camera, I fell asleep in the heat of Wimbledon <laughs> today. So, you know, all that excitement, but I managed to fall asleep. No, the thing is, uh, when she arrived, I've got to tell you, first of all, you know, we, we kind of knew she was coming at some point in the afternoon, which she did, of course, because then she went to the Royal Box. But the first match she went to was on Court 14. Now, Court 14 doesn't have a Royal Box. Now, the cynics, amongst many people, may say, ah, right, after all of the thing about the overspending of the royals and all that sort of stuff, Kate goes and seats in the cheap seats. But the true thing is, you know, she's a patron um, of, of the club, the All England Tennis Association. And, of course, she's a huge tennis fan. And there were a, a, a sort of particular group of players that she did want to go and see. She did also, also bump into Andy Murray, uh, the, you know, the one-time champion yeah. of Wimbledon. So, you know, she's got a great connection there. But I have to tell you, David, when she came to the club, there was a real surge of excitement. You could feel the electricity. She looked incredible, you know what I mean? Oh, great hair. Oh, not a hair out yeah. of place. And I don't think that she's being she's going to be getting sunburned today. No, either. she no. slips up slightly. No, like not, not with those yeah. gooshies on. No, 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 no. Now, Prince Harry has delivered a powerful speech reflecting on his mother and his role as a father as well. Yeah, it was a very moving speech. I mean, it's been a busy day, actually, for the Royals today because, obviously, Kate was at Wimbledon. He was doing his speech. It's for the Diana Mentoring Award. And what was uh, interesting was, you know, um, I think since Harry's become a father, he's, he's always been quite a sharer in public. You know, he's talked quite openly about his own personal issues and things like that. But he was basically saying that he was moved by the people that he'd met over the many years who uh, were moved by his mother, um, the late great Princess Diana, because, of course, she was a mentor to a lot of people, you know, and as he pointed out, even if she didn't know it, he knows it because they're coming up and saying certain things. And also he was sort of saying how becoming a father for the first time has made him realise that it's very difficult because whatever you do, you know, the, the little person now that you're looking after picks up on that. So you have to lead by example. And he said that, you know, his mother was a great uh, inspiration to both him and his brother and the way that she led certain things. And, you know, her legacy, I know people talk about this in sort of saccharine things, but, you know, she did do a lot of things, you know, for the AIDS victims, for the homeless, you know, for all sorts of different communities. She put herself out there probably far more than any royal had done to date. So, you know, it's nice to know that he acknowledged that and he's clearly very moved. Let's have a look at what he said. Perhaps it's the newfound clarity I have as a father, knowing that my son will always be watching what I do, mimicking my behavior, one day maybe even following in my footsteps. My mother, Princess Diana, was a role model to so many without realizing the impact she, ha she would have on so many lives. You don't have to be a princess or a public figure to be a role model. In fact, it's equally valuable if you're not, because it's more relatable. And you know, it's Gorgeous. wonderful, Neil, in this time, I mean, she would have been 58 coming up uh, this year. Yeah. And, and both William and Harry have honoured their mother. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, it's strange, isn't it, David, when you say Diana? Because to me, um, she always sort of has that Marilyn Monroe-esque thing about, you know, because she died so young, she's suspended in youth, as it were. You know, when you think about 58, you think, what would she have been like? So what William did, which I thought was a really nice move, he went down outside Kensington Palace, totally unannounced. There's lots of people gathered there to celebrate, of course, Diana's birthday. And he just went down and met some of these people. And you could see on the, the you know, when you look at the pictures, you can see they can't quite believe it, you know, that Prince William's in front of them. But I think it's genuinely from the heart that he wanted to go down and perhaps those people coming to remember his mother helps him deal with whatever, you know, issues he has uh, on the day that, of course, would have been her 58th birthday. So I thought it was very sweet all round. And it does show, um, I think, that Prince William is a very caring soul. You know, when you do meet him, he's quite a warm character. Uh, lots of traits of his mother about him, for sure. Just beautiful pictures there. And switching to one of the other royals now, Meghan's eternity ring has drawn quite a bit of attention 
but it's said to contain a hidden family message. What is it? Oh gosh, you know, it was at the Troop into the Colour, right? And, and you know, because it was the first time we'd seen it for a long time, she came out and everybody, what I love, you know, about um, anything like this, Brooke, everything scrutinised, you know? Mm. The ring, <laughs> yeah. the nail polish, the lipstick, you know? And you girls know about it like that, you know? I don't know how <laughs> it sure works, do. but it's incredible, you know? And what's happened is Harry's had the Eternity Ring sort of remodelled uh, by this uh, brilliant lady um, over in America called Lorraine Schwartz. And uh, what's happened is they've put these diamonds and emeralds and they in the inner circle of the eternity ring slightly as I say uh, remodeled and basically it's all to signify now her new you know her close family her new family which is Harry herself and of course baby Archie and apparently so that uh, wherever she goes you know wherever she is that all three of them are together. He's a bit of a romantic Harry, isn't he? He Quite is, and she got slammed for that, and I'm so glad we cleared yeah, that up because absolutely. I knew there was something behind that that was good. Just quickly, yeah. back on Princess Diana, because Kevin Costner has revealed that, well, she almost starred alongside him during this recent interview. What's the story there? Well, I can tell you the exclusive on this because this story slightly changed from what you know we, we did a few years back. What's happened was this: that Kevin Costner was very keen to make Bodyguard Two. Whitney Houston wasn't; she'd moved on at that point. So the idea between you know Kevin and Warner Brothers was to see if they could now have somebody that would really bring some superstar power to the movie. Obviously, after Whitney, that would be very hard. Now, Diana wasn't going to take the lead role or anything like that. It was a simple sort of cameo and the nearest I could tell you of how it would be do you remember when the Queen popped up with Bond at the yeah. Olympics mm, mm. like that that was the deal you know and I think it's slightly been blown out you know there was no way she was gonna sort of turn around and become this superstar Hollywood sing a Dolly Parton yeah, song absolutely. put one of those but, head yeah, mics yeah. on with the little thing yeah. there and bust out a tune <laughs> yeah. on stage like in a silver metal <laughs> a bodice yeah. yeah 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 no, that wasn't gonna happen no. The look I'm wearing tonight, yeah. The thing <laughs> is, um, she basically... I, I thought it was a clever idea, but Kevin, you know, I've got to tell you, was very smitten with Princess Diana. Oh, I he, bet he, he was. You know, he glowed. I mean, you know, he was one of those things. I think she was quite bewitching. I don't know if it really would have come off because I think at some point she might have thought, you know, maybe not for me. Yeah. But a nice, a nice thought anyway. Well, he's only yeah. human. We're all bewitched by Diana, weren't we? Neil, we'll speak to you yes. a little bit later on. Thank you. A real pleasure. Thank S you. Bye-bye. Slip, slap, slap, mate.